Hi guys, it's Sherry here. Ow. So today, um, I do have badge pictures that I gotta take at work. So this is gonna be a little uh, get ready with me type um, video. Just uh, doing my makeup to get ready for these photos that I have to take at work. <laughs> So, <clears throat> ooh, my throat. so I'm going to be going for more of a natural um, look just because I don't want to be a little out there with the, <laughs> the makeup for work. I want to look a little more professional than what I would if I was just going out for a day. Um, so to start off, I'm, uh, I always start off with a primer. Uh, and today I'll be using this primer right here. It is the I'm gonna I'm gonna mispronounce this uh, the Syet London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer, and I already have a little bit of it on my finger. I'm just gonna warm it up between my fingers to make it a little more smooth, and apply that directly to the face. And this is just gonna make sure that that foundation and the concealer and everything you put on top is going to sit smoothly and uh, stay longer on your face and it won't clog up your pores as bad. All right, now that I got that primer on, it is time to go into some foundation. So I'm gonna use this uh, Maybelline Fit Me uh, foundation matte and poreless for a uh, normal to oily skin in the shade 105 light sorry fair ivory <laughs> all right we're just gonna take a couple of uh of dollops on the finger and this is just gonna help cover up any redness uh and smooth out the skin have a flawless face Of course, you gotta blend it down your neck. Make sure that your face matches your neck. Otherwise, that would make for some interesting photos. All right. Now that we got that all dolloped onto the face and neck, I will be taking this little beauty blender right here and just dabbing that into the, the skin. And I like to use, uh, oh, my face is just, I like to use uh, beauty blenders just because it does uh, apply more of a smooth base than if you were to use a brush or your fingers. The shadow behind me scared me and it was my own shadow. Alright. So blending down the neck now. Uh, just again making sure that the neck matches the face. I'm even going to go onto my ears just to cover up some of that redness that's on my ears. Just because it is kind of cold right now. So my ears are very, very red because of the cold. All right, so from here, I'm actually gonna go in and contour uh, before I bron or before I put on the concealer and powder and bronze the face and everything. And this is just gonna add some extra depth um, because with those photos, they do blow them up so it makes the face look a little wider. And I don't want my face to look too wide. So I'm gonna go in, I can barely read that. This is the Superfood Cosmetic. Uh, brand uh, the Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base it's a lightweight silk cream bronzer 
and it looks just like this. I'm gonna take a nice dense angled brush and I'm just gonna pick some up and go and go right into the hairline with that. And I'm gonna open up the mirror here just so I can uh, get a little bit of a closer view of what I'm doing. And I, I'm just gonna go into the hairline just to make that uh, forehead area, the temple bone, the temple, temple of the forehead and throughout the entire forehead just to make it look a little bit smaller. Because like I said, they will be blowing these pictures up and I don't want my face to look huge. These are my professional photos for work. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the cheekbones going straight toward the hair. Same thing on this side. And this is just to add um, depth to the cheekbones and to make them look, make your face look a little bit sh uh, slimmer. And then I'm gonna add a little bit to my jawline just right here at the corner. I'm not gonna go all the way around my chin just right here in that corner again, and kind of blend that out. And this is just gonna give the appearance of a more sharp jawline, like so. Kind of blend it down your neck a little bit. Okay. Once we got that put on, we're gonna go in. I lost the lid to this. I'll set that there for a second. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. And I'm going to use this e.l.f. 16-hour uh, camo matte finish um, concealer in the shade Fair Beige right here. And I love this concealer. It covers up everything from dark circles, redness, blemishes, everything. All right, I'm just going to add a little tiny dot right here on the inner corner and then a small line at the outer corner of the eye just to add some brightness and lift that up. And do the same thing to the nose, a little dot um, at the bridge of the nose and a smaller dot at the tip of the nose. And then some on the forehead and some on the chin just to bring those points out. I'm going in with that same beauty blender that I was using for the foundation and just blend that out a little bit. And the longer you let it sit in one spot, the more it will cover up in that, that area. So if you have uh, really bad dark circles or blemishes, you can always let the concealer sit there for a little bit longer. Um, and it'll kind of set into the skin and help cover that up a little bit better than if you just went and just can put it on and then blended it out immediately. Same thing with the nose and the center of the forehead. Just kind of bring out those high points. And what I do with the, the excess of that is I kind of go up into where I did the contour, um, just to kind of make any harsh lines that may be there uh, blend in a little bit better to the skin. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the powder to set the face, uh, the foundation and concealer and the contour. 
And I'm gonna use this infall uh, L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear uh, Setting Powder in the shade Pearl. And on a big fluffy brush, just pick some of that up and kind of dab it onto the face. Um, I learned if you dab it, it does set longer and better than if you kind of just rub it on. It doesn't um, blend anything else in or out so your makeup stays longer and it looks how you uh, originally put it on. So we're just gonna keep blending all this out. And, a little, and some down the neck as well. Just to keep all this set in place. And again, on those ears to get rid of any of that redness. <clears throat> all right, moving into blush, going in with this Ofra uh, palette right here. I don't remember the name of it and the sticker that was on the back of it for with the name of that palette came off. So I, I, I've had this one for years. It's been my favorite as you can tell. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go in with this nice fluffy brush right here pick up some of that blush, and then just apply that to the cheeks. And a little bit to the nose, just to add some color back into the face. Like so. All right, then for highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Ofra highlighter in the shade Glazed Donut. It's a very shiny highlighter. And I'm gonna just take a nice fluffy brush and just go onto the high points of my cheekbones. And then on the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. And that's just gonna help bring out the points that we had previously put in with that contour. And then just to kind of uh, set up a little bit more of that contour, I'm gonna go in with this Gigi Gorgeous Bronzer Palette in the Six Sculpt. It's a double side. I'm gonna use this lighter side right here. And this nice contour brush. Um, it's just a nice fluffy angled brush. I'm just gonna pick up some of that lighter shade and go just over where we had that contour at. Kind of just in a dabbing motion. Don't wanna uh, swipe it, and this is a lighter shade than that contour, so it will blend in pretty well. <clears throat> Moving on to the eyebrows. We're gonna do eyebrows first. So moving on to the eyebrows, I'm going to use this gel right here. It's like a, um, a clear gel. Um, it's a sculpting wax actually, a clear sculpting wax. And I'm just gonna brush the hairs of the eyebrows into place before I fill them in. So I'm just gonna take this little spoolie right here and I'm gonna pick some of it up on the brush, on the spoolie. And then I'm just going to brush it through the brows and kind of just set those in place. Alright. 
So while I let that kind of sit for a minute and kind of dry, where did my marker go? There it is, okay. Pull that out and get that ready. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit more concealer on my eyelids to go ahead and get those primed for the eyeshadow. This is just gonna help make the uh, eyeshadow colors stand out just a little bit better. Um, and kind of pop and it'll also keep them in place for a little bit longer. So I added some of that uh, e.l.f. camo concealer, same shade, and I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. Um, and that's just so it warms up and it kind of blends out a little bit quicker and easier and it doesn't get all over my face. Okay, so for the eyebrows, I'm going to go in with this Maybelline uh, Tattoo Studio uh, Brow Tint Pen in the shade Deep Brown, and the tip of it looks kind of like this. It's got these little slits in it, so when you run it into your eyebrows, it does create natural hair strokes, so your eyebrows do look a little more natural than if you were to use a pencil or a pomade or anything like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this through the brow hairs. Just darkening them up a little bit, making them look a little more full. Then I'm just going to go back through them with that spoolie and kind of make sure they're laying flat down onto my face. Like that. All right. For the eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using just this one palette. It's called the Honest Beauty Palette. Uh, and it comes with these shades right here. And I will be using um, this shade right here called Vanilla Velvet. It's a nice creamy color um, eyeshadow. I'll also be using this one right here uh, that's called Iced Cotton. And uh, this one right here that is the Strobe Champagne. And I'm going to go ahead and just set this uh, concealer up a little bit with the, forgot the, name of that one, the Vanilla Velvet right here. And I'm just going to kind of bounce the brush on just to make sure that this is set in place. And then I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush and this brown right here, tap the extra excess off, and pop that right into my crease. And taking that 
iced vanilla again. I'm a little bit of a fluffier brush, or not the iced vanilla, the vanilla'd velvet. And I'm gonna just go above that dark brown, or that brown shade and kind of blend out any rough edges that are there. And then just taking a flat fluffy brush and picking up this strobed champagne color right here. And that's just gonna go right on the eyelid itself. And then taking a small dense brush like this, I'm gonna pick up this brown again and go underneath the uh, lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with this NYX Epic, Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade White. And then just run that along my waterline. And this is just gonna help open up the eyes a little bit more, make you look a little more awake, which is exactly what I need at work. And then I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Nure Balm Mascara. And this is an all-vegan, paraben-free uh, mascara. It's really, really great for people with sensitive eyes like myself. All right. And I'm just going to apply that to the lashes. I have a visitor. I have a, a big fluffy cat. All right. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go in. I've got to shake it up a little bit. I'm going to go in with the NYX um, Epic Ink Liner in black. And I'm going to do a very small and thin cat eye. It leaked a little bit. That's not, it's not fun. Oh, I'm blocking my view. Like so. And then for the lips, I'm going to use this NYX Shine Loud uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade uh, Life Goals. And it's a, two, it's a duo, so it has the actual lipstick part here and then a lip gloss you place on top of it. 
and I swear by this, I wore this with a mask on in the middle of the pandemic and it did not move, it did not transfer. I ate really greasy food after it. It did not smudge, it did not transfer after that. I uh, didn't, I forgot to take it off before my shower. It didn't come off in the shower. This stuff is bulletproof. It will last forever if you do not take it off with a makeup wipe, but it, it is a good lipstick to wear if you have to wear a mask. So you just wanna take the colored part of it and apply it to the lips. I just want to let that dry. And then once it's uh, tacky, like when you put your lips together and it's tacky, you take the, glip, uh, the lip gloss part of it at the very bottom, just take off the excess, and you just go over that and that takes away that tackiness and gives it some shine. And the only part of this lipstick that does transfer, and I can prove it to you real quick. You just, mm -hmm. the only part that transferred was the gloss. There's no color that transferred whatsoever. I swear by this lipstick, it's amazing. Like I said though, you do have to like physically remove it. It won't come off on its own. I haven't slept in it and I hope no one else sleeps in their makeup because that's bad for your skin but I haven't slept in it, so it might come off in your sleep. But what I'm trying, what I'm saying is it didn't transfer onto a mask, didn't transfer onto a straw, drinking from a, uh, the straws or cans or bottles did not transfer. It did not move or budge or smear or anything when I ate uh, a big greasy meal. Uh, none of that. So it is a real good lipstick to swear by. Well, this is the picture ready face. Now just gotta get the hair done. <laughs> but that's for a, not a video. I can do, <laughs> I don't do my hair very often. Um, well, we have a nice natural eye shadow look going on with a nice natural, a nice natural small wing with a nice neutral pinky uh, lip color with a nice highlight contour um, and natural brows. Um, well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe.